It's another vlogish type of video. I am just organizing and packing for our trip to the Sunshine Coast. We are leaving early tomorrow morning, so I thought I would bring you guys along because I need content. So here we are. But if you don't know, I have four kids. They are four, three, two, and one year old. Um, and then my nine-year-old son is actually flying into Brisbane tomorrow as well. He lives with his dad, so he's coming on this trip with us, which is so exciting. The kids are so, so happy. Basically, I wanted to show my system. So as you can kind of see, it might look like a mess behind here but it's actually an organized mess because this is the way I am laying out everything so that I know that I have not missed anything that we need for the trip. Here is my system. What I have done is I have lined up each child's stuff so that I know if anything is missing of theirs. So they each have a pair of easy to slip on shoes because we are staying at a resort and we're most likely going to just be swimming and on the beach and stuff. Then I have a bunch of outfits that are like together. So as you can see, like there's a top and then a bottom with it. And we are going from Sunday to Wednesday. So I have three, no, I have four casual outfits. And then I also wanted to get one dressy little thing. Like if we have like a dinner or something, then at least the girls have a pretty dress to wear each. And then my four-year-old has a button up. The baby I'm not going to bother with because he doesn't have any nice clothes anyway but he has his little outfits here. And then I am just planning on bringing along one pajama set for each child. I try to keep things as minimal as possible because there's not much space. We only have a seven seater car and like every single seat is taken up. So there's not really any boot space. We have had to drop off my pram off to my sister-in-law because they have more room in their car. And so that means that we need to pack quite light. So I still have a few things that I need to grab off the line. I did do all of the washing yesterday so that I had plenty of options to choose from with their clothes. So once that is dry, I will go out and complete their little outfit sets. But then if you come over here, I have also laid out like each person's towel. This one is for my husband and that is mine. I had to go to Kmart and buy them all because we didn't have any beach towels. But there is like a beach towel for each child, one pair of togs and a hat. So I need to find Alethea a hat and then the two little babies. I have my swimmers. I also have another pair that is hanging up in the bathroom drying. And then I have like my actual swimming hat for when I'm like lounging on the beach. And then this is just a casual hat to wear if we go out to the playground or something. Here is like my outfits I have put together. I will show you guys and I went with the same sort of thing. Three casual, one like little dinner outfit and like a pretty dress. I really don't care about what I am going to be wearing but I thought for the sake of this video I would show you guys all my outfits. So outfit number one. Why is this so bright all the time? Okay, outfit number one. We have high rise little shorts. This is a black crop. Casual number three. <laughs> so Alex just got home and he went up to the shops after work to buy like this oversized beach cover-up. It's from Cotton On.
So I am just gonna wear this over my bikinis when we're like chilling out. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. I, it's pretty nice. And it's good because it covers your bum. And when you sit down, you just cover everything. Lulu's awake. I gotta go get him. This is gonna be your guys. Food. Why? For me? Yeah, for you. Okay, so we have a five and a half hour drive tomorrow. So I went out to the grocery store and got some like little snacky kind of things. And I'm gonna put it together into their lunch boxes so that they can just help themselves. Yeah, so they can help themselves along the drive. So, not very healthy, but what are you gonna do? I'm gonna give them some chips, some blueberries. I got me a salad. This is going to be their breakfast, so I'm gonna give this to them, just pull it apart and chuck it to them in the car because we are going to leave at 5 a.m. I got them croissant because they wanted it. Lollies because you need lollies. And then last, I got the major and juice box. Here's all of this stuff. So I'm just gonna put this in the fridge and then double check all of the clothes. To help with my tummy problems, I went out and bought this. So I've been taking this with water three times a day and let me tell you, it is disgusting. It's so gross. I nearly puke in my mouth every time I drink it, but it has definitely helped a lot, like a lot. I'm not as bloated anymore. Um, I'm not getting tummy cramps because I was experiencing really bad cramps, but taking this and following a mod biotic diet has really helped. Oh, I didn't drink much. Done. I'm going to take that, but I'm also going to bring some Panadol because Lucius has been teething lately. So I'm going to bring three. No, I think I have more. Yeah, I have five swim nappies because Aureli is just getting toilet trained. She's great with wheeze, not so great with number twos. But I'm going to chuck like all their swimmers and towels and stuff in here. And of course you can't forget the sunscreen. So I'm going to put all the swimming stuff into the bag. <laughs> So I like just folded all their hat and the swimmers into the towel and chucked it in. Then I'm going to grab our swimming stuff. So everything fits really nicely when you fold it up like nice and small little squares. So I'm going to chuck all my stuff in and then Alex can just use a backpack for his stuff. told you guys yet but we are going for my mother-in-law's 60th birthday um we organized this trip like earlier in the year and it has come up so quickly like i'm amazed at how fast it has arrived my kids especially my son is super excited to see his brother we haven't seen him since June, I think it was, or July maybe. Um, not last holidays, but the holidays beforehand. So it's probably been the longest. I haven't seen him since he moved to his dad's. So tonight, we are going to put the kids to bed super early, like soon. They have already had dinner. I need to shave everywhere. Um, you know, because we don't want anything popping out and scaring children. If you guys go to a gym or even if you work out at home, 
in your own gym, if you aren't sure if your form is good, like if you want to improve your exercise technique, if you want to build your confidence in the gym, just so that you know that what you are doing is working and that you are doing the exercises correctly so you don't look stupid, then go and join the Motivated Mom Amateur to Athlete waitlist. I'll leave the link down below or you can go to themotivatedmom.com forward slash A, the number two, and then A, and join the waitlist there because my six week course is going to give you that confidence and I've been putting so much time and effort into it it's going to be really great. Okay, I look a mess. It's about 8 p.m. And I'm pretty sure everything is sorted. So I'm in like the little foyer of our house. So I have it. The drink bottle's here for when we walk out. This is Lucius clothes for when he wakes up. We have like our shoes. This is the swimming bag, so we have the little like floaty vest as well, just in case. And then I put like my skincare in here, toothbrushes and stuff are in here, and then nappies as well as all of our clothes are in there. Alex still has to put all of his stuff into a bag. Oh, need that. It's really hot tonight. So I still need to grab like the charges, and then I'm also going to take my laptop. Just to set up the kids like with a movie at night if they want it. And I'm also thinking about editing videos on the way down. We'll see how that goes. But if you've made it this far, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video because it helps me and my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.